Hey guys, Elvis here and welcome to Assassin's Creed 4. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can get all three outfits from the previous Assassin's Creed games. So the first thing I saw when I came on the game, as AC4, I saw a pop-up message saying congratulations in recognition of your actions in previous Assassin's Creed titles you have been awarded with the Altair outfit. And I saw this message for all three outfits, so for the Altairs, for the Ezios and for the Connors outfit. So at first I was assuming that you need to just play the game for that on that account. Just if you play AC1, you will get the Altiers outfit. If you play AC3, you will get Connor's outfit and so on. But that's wrong because I actually haven't even played AC1 on this account. So why did I get Altiers outfit? Well, I think it's because I've played Assassin's Creed Revelations. So if if you played that, I believe you get Ezio's outfit and Altiers outfit. That's how I see it. And if of course if you play AC3, you will get Connor's outfit. So that's a thing that is right. If you do know more about this, make sure to leave leave any information down below in the comment section because I'm not 100% sure. So maybe there is a you know a different twist to it or whatnot. But yeah, that's how I see it, and I think this that's the way it works. So I'm just gonna quickly show you the out outfits, just like you know, in in real in in game, just so you see how it looks like. Make sure you let me know which one you like the be like the best and which one you like least. I guess so. Yeah, let's get right into the outfits. So now I'm gonna be showing you each of the outfits in combat and just the way they look like in game. So if you do enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more Assassin's Creed. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Oh, <laughs> 